Good morning! We woke up today in St. Augustine, had a good comfy night in our pop-up, and we're making some pancakes. Well, Pete's making some pancakes. Did you help? Yeah, I, I stirred it. Me, me, me. Hi, good morning. Me. I stirred it too. <laughs> and guys, we were, I'm going to go snorkeling today. Me too. I don't so we are going to be here for three days and our goal is to see and do as much free and cheap stuff as we can. So we're going to take you along and see what we find, um, what we like to do as a family, what is good for kids, what is good for couples coming, whatever we find to do, we'll be sharing with you. So come along our trip with us. So that was 10 out of 10. Everyone enjoys the apple pancakes. They're so, so good. We got them on another trip we went on to Tennessee and brought them on this trip. Yeah. We got some fruit too, enjoying our breakfast. Is it good, Daddy? Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> this one is like an apple flavor. Yeah, it's delicious. It's it is a beautiful early afternoon out here in St. Augustine and we just came to Swing Park, which is one of those wooden awesome parks. Um, it's super big, so of course my kids have already taken off to go explore. So we're gonna spend some time here. This is right across the street from a big parking garage and right across from downtown. It's a great spot to bring the kiddos before or after you want to explore the historic district. So it looks so it looks like a lot of people in the community came together, companies and businesses to donate. So it shows who donated this lion picture, who donated the height board. But this whole place was put together by the community and it is so cool and fun. My kids are not gonna wanna leave here and we can't spend all day here today because we have a short few day trip. But I guarantee if you come to St. Augustine with kids, they will absolutely love this place. It says, the people of St. Augustine in St. John's County in 1997 joined together to create this wonderful swing playground. The project took more than one year to plan and less than one week to build. That's pretty cool. Over 5,000 people volunteered their time and energy, wielding power tools, shovels, and wheelbarrows to erect the structures and spaces designed by the children of our community. With great pride and a profound sense of accomplishment, we look forward to many generations of joy and laughter because of your Sorry, because of your perseverance, dedication, and hard work, St. Augustine's wish has come true. Thank you. Here's all the sponsors. That's pretty sweet. Look at that. It's a community love effort right here. We always suggest coming to the visitor center. I'm going up the ramp, I'm gonna meet them up there because there's so much information and a lot of times they can tell you, well, every time they can tell you awesome things to do. I know the ground's so pretty and great things within walking distance and all of that that you might not have been able to figure out on your own. So we're gonna head in and see what info we can get. Wow, how awesome is this? So this is like a replica of the type of ship they would have used to come over here. I know, how awesome is this? Wow. Awesome. So this is exactly what I mean. You just think it's a visitor center that maybe they're gonna try and sell you some tickets to things around town. But there's actually like a whole museum in the back here with some awesome stuff. They have like, it's sectioned into different sections of history, uh, like the British, and then once it's America, and then the Spanish colonial and all of that. 
so <laughs> the boys are already having fun looking around. Come here, I want to show you. Okay, go, go, go. It says, yeah, you're in the <gasps> Another thing that you can do when you're here in St. Augustine is you can check out one of these forts right here. This is the Castillo de San Marcos. <laughs> Why did you uh, say like that? What? It's the Castillo <laughs> de San Marcos. So now it's $15 to go in per adult, but the free thing that you can do is walk around the entire outside, which is absolutely beautiful. And we'll see that in just a second. And it's actually called Castillo de San Marcos, not Castillo de San Marcos. All right, let's go. See how free this is? It's so free, even a baby can run. <laughs> run, Owie, run, run uphill. Go, 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 go. Wow, this is so free. There we go. You can see the water and the beautiful boats. Ah, Landon, stop. Are you okay? No, Owie, come on. As you can imagine, right here we have the water and this fort was constantly under attack by gunfire. And as you can see, it really didn't do that much damage. This fort is still standing there. And you can see it's pretty cool. You got this whole wall of defense, you know, before you even get over there. So I imagine that this wall was, was bigger, of course, um, at some point, at some time. But yeah, or maybe, I don't know, maybe correct me in the comments, but definitely a pretty secure fort. Boats coming by, blasting their cannons all the time. Man, what a time to have lived. Now, I know this is a video talking about all the free things you can do, but this is the second time my sons have been here to St. Augustine and they didn't get to go in the fort last time. So we paid the $30 for myself and for Shannon to go in and all kids under the age of 16 are free. So this is not something free to do, but we're still gonna show you the inside so you know what to expect. Oh, this is nice. Whoa. Can you turn the light on? Where the soldiers stayed. See their uniforms and their beds. <laughs> Comfy. Let's check it out. It's Shannon the Cannon. bunch of different forts and things before but I have to say this is probably the most like well kept considering it's probably also one of the oldest ones we've ever been to or the oldest one we've ever been to but it's like very beautifully done <laughs> kind of looks like it would have been something other than just a military fortress it looks like their artistry and the way that they designed it is like really really nice you know the Spaniards that make those things yeah they really do it's beautiful in here Let's go up. This is such a beautiful spot, so you can only imagine, you know, the Spanish kind of just hanging out here on these cannons. And so one thing, you see these walls right here, how they're like up, down, kind of like right here. They're like up, down, boom, 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 boom. You notice how this right here is leveled off. 
And if you can see way over there, there is a light tower over there. And the Spanish were in a battle, I believe with the British, correct me if I'm wrong. And they were just getting bombarded right here. And so all of these fell off or really got blasted off right here. So you can tell it's nice and flat, you know, because this is where they were taking all the hits. Boom, 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 right over here. But what's super cool about this fort, you see this opening right here. That opening wasn't always there. If you look at some old photos, right? Really, the opening was over there. And so they would funnel in their enemies right through here because this is kind of the last stop before you, you know, go to the Gulf Stream and head back over to Europe. And so they would come in here and just get obliterated ships. People trying to come and attack St. Augustine just get murdered. This fort right here um, never lost a battle, I don't think. And again, I shouldn't really say these things without 100% knowing for certain and refreshing myself, but I'm pretty sure once this fort was built here, they didn't lose a battle. Now, the Spanish had like eight or nine wooden forts. Um, those kept getting destroyed, of course, and pirates came a ton of times and burned down St. Augustine to the ground and they had to keep rebuilding it and rebuilding it and rebuilding it. Finally, they made this nice, strong fort right here. And this thing has pretty much been indestructible. All right, so one of the things you can for sure find all over is all these little photo ops. <laughs> Stage your little pictures. Um, there's so many beautiful places to take pictures, but then there's also the fun touristy ones like this. Another free thing that you can do, which might not end up free if you do this, but you can walk up and down St. George Street, which is a nice street full of you know shops and places to sit. Some places are shady, some places are not. And of course they have a directory right here. But like I said, it could end up as not a free activity if you are a shopper like my awesome wife. Just kidding, she's not. <laughs> and you end up stopping in every shop and buying stuff. Now of course we did stop by and we got a few popsicles from the hippo because it's hot right now and we're getting close to summertime and all these kids were getting a little over overheated so we got some popsicles. <laughs> Here's another free thing to do. You can visit the cathedral right here, Father Pedro Camps. It is pretty. All right, we'll go inside. Dad couldn't resist the second best pizza in America. So we stopped by to get some pizza. Someone else can't wait either. So as we were walking down the street, we came across the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the USA. Um, to get inside there is an admission, but of course you can stop in front of it and check it out. So I'll show you what the outside looks like. It's really cool looking. Um, it has some information on the building too. School is now closed. <laughs> so you can see a little bit about the history of it here. But they have kept this looking really, really pretty. Here it is. There's also a person's face up there. Can you see that? That scared me. But this is a cool like photo spot too, so. How awesome is that? Oldest schoolhouse. Here's my kids climbing like always. Hi boys. Hi. It's the oldest schoolhouse. <laughs> All right, here's a little bit more behind what is behind the area. And yeah, it's a really small building, of course. 
which is exactly what I would expect for the oldest schoolhouse. But right in the middle of their historic downtown. So we had a full day. We came back and hit the pool here at our campground. And now we're eating a tip that Keith is really good at. <laughs> He's the one who prepares all of this. Is that he like pre-chops meat or pre-cooks things. Um, so sometimes we went with like crock pot meals already done or um, in this case we had a bunch of rotisserie chicken already chopped up and then salad and peppers already chopped up and ready so that we could have our meals on the very cheap on vacation. So that's what we're doing now. We're eating some dinner and then going to get some rest. We had a busy day. Happy Thursday. We have another day here in St. Augustine. And we took it easy this morning because it was super it's rainy, thunderstorms. Day. Our last full day here, yep. And um, so we kind of just stayed in and then got some lunch. And now we are starting to hit some of the sites now that the rain has let up. So before we head into the first place for today, I wanted to let you know about two other forts that we figured out are free as well, free admission to go see. One is Fort Mose and one is Fort Matanza, I believe it is. Um, but I will write those both here for you as well. So you can check those out. Also to note, um, on one of the forts that's here, I'm not exactly sure which one, uh, we were going to go to it and there is a free ferry that takes you. So it's basically a free boat ride that takes you from the fort to another place. I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, if you've watched other videos and they've talked about this free ferry, you might want to um, research it a little bit more because right now it's still closed. And right now it's May of 2021, but all of that's still closed due to COVID. Uh, so check that out if you're looking for that free ferry in St. Augustine. Well, good to know. So we so far have not run into very many closed things. So that's good to know something that is closed, but otherwise we are heading into our first spot for today. All right, so we are walking into Nombre de Dios Museum, which yeah, roll those R's I, a little bit more. I actually can't, I never have been able to. Um, so it's at this beautiful church here and there is a free museum all about the start of Christianity and the founding of St. Augustine. So we're gonna check that out. Basically what we came across here is that the founding of the faith and really the founding of St. Augustine in Florida started back in the 1500s with um, the Spanish and the Spanish priests coming. Um, so this volunteer over here was teaching us all about the first mass that happened in Florida and all of those things and how they dedicated the land. and named it St. Augustine and kind of how that all came to be. So they're really helpful and informative here. Um, they're very proud of like their grounds. It's beautiful. So I hope that this weather holds up and I can show you guys outside. Here is the outside. That building is where we just were and there's this big lake. <gasps> Water! <laughs> and this beautiful bridge that we're walking over now. I think over here is where like the shrine is. Um, there's a huge cross behind those trees but super super beautiful the weather's holding off so that we can explore a little bit So this is the shrine, ancient Spanish shrine to Mary. Uh, but this one is the fourth building. The first one was built in 1615, but 
This one I believe was built in like 19 something. Um, still pretty old and very beautiful. But this foundation has seen a lot of buildings over hundreds of years. So here's something else that you can do for free while you're in St. Augustine. I am on Magnolia Ave right now and Ballard Street, I believe. Oh, Ballard Ave. Just throw that into your GPS, Magnolia and Ballard. And it's basically the beginning or the end, depending on how you see it, of this beautiful street. And you can see behind me right over there and also behind my truck. That's really the start of it um, or the end of it, uh, of this beautiful tunnel of trees. And you can imagine what this looks like when all the Spanish moss isn't hanging and it's super green and vines are growing on them. Sorry, it's really loud over here. But this is a very popular place for photo shoots and I'll turn this camera around and let you see. So if you're going down this street, you're gonna see to the left or the right of you, depending on where you're at, the Fountain of Youth entrance. And so that's another thing you can do here. It is not free. But if you're looking for it, it is on Magnolia Ave. All right, well, we found it. So here's another historic free spot to come to. It was a little tricky to find, so I will let you know that it is in this motel parking lot, um, past a liquor store and past a place called Pelican's Landing right there. So if you look for those two things um, on San Marcos Ave, you will come across the old center and this is massive which you can imagine considering they say they believe it is well over 600 years old uh, that is amazing um this thing is so wide it's just one tree wow and they have a little picture taking spot here <laughs> their trees growing inside the tree, but it's a nice picture spot they made for families. But wow, towers over everything. The wind and the chill is picking up, but we could not finish off a St. Augustine vacation without checking out the beach and the water um, and what's going on down here. So we came down towards the fishing pier over here. Um, the fishing pier you do have to pay to go on, and that is that right there. But right next door is the playground and the beach. So that's where we came to. So we're gonna let the boys play. We're gonna check out the water a little bit. Um, but this is a really nice little spot here. Lots of seating and you can come watch the waves. Bye. So this playground is right next to the St. John's uh, Ocean and Fishing Pier. And like I said, there's all, there's no admission to come on this side of it. So keep this checking out the water. And there is a splash pad area that looks like it's probably on when the weather is a bit nicer and shopping. And then back here, you can walk down to the water with I'll show you. It is super, super wavy and windy today. And there's a red flag up over there signaling danger because of how choppy it is outside. But this is a great spot. We literally walked from our car, which is right there with our kayak. You can see it straight up here and you could walk straight to the beach and it's not far at all down to the water or to set up your chairs or to take a walk on the beach. So we are back home now. The camper is backpacked up in our backyard, but we had so much fun in St. Augustine over our, really we had like two days to explore and we got to cram so much fun free and cheap things in so i hope that these recommendations help you guys as well kind of see what you want to do and what you might want to see more of but i hope that you and your family enjoy your saint augustine adventure and we'll see you guys next time